<laughs> okay. That <laughs> said <laughs> just farted. <laughs> That's glow cool flower. Right. Okay, okay. All right, here's. <laughs> here's a Goldberg Extra 330 being tested on a freaking monster 7035 motor. And just go fly with a monster 24 by 12 prop. Um, I only got one 5S charge, so we're doing 5S plus 3S for 8S, 4800 milliamp, 25C. Um, let's see. It's hooked in here with a uh, 2.4 gigahertz spectrum receiver, satellite. It's got a secondary battery, 2200 milliamp, to run the servos. Uh, it's wired into the switch. Okay. Speed control. 100 amp. Oh, 100 amp speed control. It's rated for 12s. Turn on the transmitter. Get some beeping right now. All right, here we go. Could you zoom in on the? Got it. Two amps? 52, 1400 watts. That's very good. Uh, it's only 1400 watts. We're going to go to 10S for the Maiden. Run two of our big 5S packs. 4800 milliamp 5S packs. Uh, it'll run. Um, that's, that's not drawn. That's 120 amp max on the out of those packs. So the, mot the motor can handle about 75 amps at 12S. Um, speed control can handle 12S, so we're in a pretty good mode. The pull on that was pretty good, but uh, I think weak for this plane. Probably would uh, hover. Um, actually, do you want to do a hover test? You want to hold it up above your head? My um, batteries may fall out. You'll have to kind of manage that. We're missing the wings and everything else. Yeah. But we'll get a, an idea of the. Set up. Check out the motor mount. Did you ever turn yeah. it off yet? No, it's it's still on. motor mount. Ted made the motor mount out of uh, two aluminum or four aluminum pieces that we cut. This is the uh, X mount that we sell with the motor. We used some quarter inch uh, rod that we cut. And we uh, put uh, blind nuts behind the firewall and. Um, locking nut on the front. Actually, I think we went out and got quarter inch yeah, bolts. Quarter inch bolts, three inches long. Uh, fits the, the, uh, the three inch extent on this motor fits perfectly on the cowl. So we'll have the cowl on at some point. Battery tray, uh, battery tray is homemade. Ted made that, Ted Ryan. Um, we're gonna pretty it up with better Velcro straps. This is just temporary right now. But you can see He's made it so that you can get to the you can get to the screws um, to lock the wings on, and it's even removable. It's made out of very thin ply and reinforced underneath, so it doesn't bend at all. It's very very strong. Um, plenty of clearance to the uh, pull pull uh, rudder system. Uh, balanced perfectly, uh, pretty much with the batteries just behind the CG point. Um, so we can move the batteries back a little further for more 3 d -age. So that's, that's our baby. We're going to take it up and see what it does. You're live. Hi, I'm Vinny. Just go fly. We're flying the uh, Goldberg Extra 330 with a 10S 4800 
25C packs, two 5S in series, a UBEC that's set for 5 volts, not 6 volts, and it's running 7 servos. And uh, unfortunately I will not be able to trim it because of the way the serv there's no linking cables between the servos, so I'm going to have to fly it with no trim. So hopefully it's set up perfect right out of the box. Here we go. Believe it or not, it's set up perfect. All good. side, nice and slow, this is the maiden flight so I'm not going to do anything crazy, looks like it might be able to hover. Congratulations, Vinny. Okay. Now it's time to go change the underwear. Let's bring it in close so you can take a look at what it looks like. Alrighty. We've got plastic thumb screws for the canopy. We uh, reamed it out 632nd instead of the, the smaller so that we could use the plastic and, and not have to have tools on the field. So we've got two 5S um, LiPos running in series for a connector. We have a separate battery for the servos tucked up front. Pull pull. Uh, rudder on a Futaba. Some of these servos, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, pull out and swap because I didn't like some of how it reacted. Um, uh, Spectrum 7001. It's got the remote antenna down below. Um, got a UBEC up front in the hole here. So it's uh, set up pretty much with all the surfaces level, and it flew perfect. I didn't need to do any trim. And that was going to be the fatal flaw of this flight, was if I had to do trim, I would have had to fly it holding the trim rather than trimming it in the air. That'll be fixed as well. Success. <laughs>